for social justice. And we are off here in Tacoma, Washington. This matchup between the Spirit and the Rain. I'm Corey Cohen with my partner, former, former Canada national teamer, Kalen Kyle. Thrilled to be joining you to close out the weekend in the NWSL. Tori Huster with the ball at the right back position. She's the only player from the original 2013 team remaining with the Washington Spirit. The Spirit wearing white on the road, O.L. Rain wearing blue here at home. There is Megan Rapino. Not much can be said about her that hasn't already been said, but she is dispossessed. And now on the other end, Ashley Hatch plays it back. Kelly O'Hara, another national teamer on the field. And you can see the tactical adjustment that Washington Spirit have made for this match because of the return of Rose Lavelle, playing with two defensive screens with uh, Roder and Jacobs just sitting in, helping to deal with the transition. First thought for Rain, can we play forward? Can we find Rose Lavelle? So for those two defensive midfielders, can they be switched on tactically and know where she is at all times? Through ball in the midfield, nicely done. Finding Ashley Sanchez, still going. Has some help on the left. Now sent forward and easily saved by Karen Bardsley. Mentioned just before the game, Kaylin Bardsley just called up to Team Great Britain ahead of the Olympics this summer. Bardsley from Southern California, but both of her parents are English. And she's played in three World Cups for them. Eleven, 2015, and 2019. Here's a takeaway from O.L. Rain. By O.L. Rain, I should say. Barnes sends it in, headed out. Here's Rose Lavelle. Nice little give and go with Shirley Cruz. Lavelle plays to her right. To the box, the one touch from Ziara King. Couldn't link up with anyone. Ashley Sanchez. Right back to the rain. Huerta, now Lavelle. Back to Huerta. Through ball, finds Shirley Cruz. Sent in just over the head of King. And we're only three minutes into this match, and you can see both teams pressing high up the pitch, but the OL Reign really taking control in that final third. It starts with Rose Lavelle, if we could rewind it even more, and it ends with Rose Lavelle. This is what she adds to this team, being able to live in those tight spaces in the midfield, and then having the ability to roll wide and have the distribution to get that ball into dangerous spaces. Aubrey Bledsoe, the keeper for the Spirit. Here's King! Bledsoe keeping her composure. Ciara King was streaking and nearly scored a goal. Bledsoe did nicely with Ciara King right in her face. Here's Tori Huster. Fishlock off her body. Huster gets it back. Played wide to Yokoyama. Through ball. Still dribbling, Natalie Jacobs, and cleared. I love this run from Jacobs, that late midfield run, especially when it's a tight, narrow field. It's so important to have that late run just to really open up the team parts because it's extremely difficult for your front runners when it is a narrow pitch to get in behind when O.L. Rain is dropping so quickly. Yeah, we saw that energy from Rose Lavelle. Oh. I'm sure is thrilled to be back playing in her home country. There's Lauren Barnes. Recently became the second player ever to play 150 regular season matches. 
in the NWSL, and the only one to play them all with one club. Lauren Barnes is rain through and through. Got more NWSL minutes than any player ever. And one thing with Lauren Barnes, it's not only what she does on the pitch, it's what she does off the pitch, that leadership ability, and really to lead by example, whether she's playing in that center back role or out here on the left-hand side. Megan Rapino with the throw in on this left hand side. Of course, had the incredible 2019. As did Rose Lavelle, two of the brightest stars to come out of that World Cup championship for the U.S. Rapino became the oldest woman to score in a World Cup final. Won the golden boot, won the golden ball and became a global superstar, both for what she does on the pitch, but of course, what she does off the pitch as well. And struggled with injuries last year. But great to see that she is fully fit, scored her first goal of the season in their previous match. Preparing for the Olympics this summer. As well as trying to get a trophy for this organization that she has been with. Through the change in cities, change in managers, Megan Rapino has been the constant. Here's Madison Hammond. Now Shirley Cruz, 35 year old from Costa Rica. Spent the last 13 years playing in France with Lyon and PSG. Joined Reign last year. Here's Bledsoe, one of the top keepers in the league. Won 2019 Goalkeeper of the Year in the NWSL, the last full season that they had. She commands the box and she can make miraculous saves. Rain controlling possession thus far. Played back to Bardsley. But a throw coming for the Spirit. There is the head coach for OL Rain, Fareed Benstiti, the Frenchman. over after Olympic Lyonnais and the partnership there. He is from Lyon, France. A lot of contact there and it's a foul called on the spirit. We're only eight minutes in and you can already see how electric Rose Lavelle has been. And just the interchange with Huerta, Rapino, Lavelle, Fishlock, and Cruz, the ability, that rotation of the three. And we're starting to see Rose Lavelle just float a little bit high and, high and wide down that right-hand side. And again, it's this part here where she's so difficult to defend because she's got her body in the perfect position and has the ability to turn you with just that one touch or even a no-touch turn. Rapino scored on a free kick from about this distance last week. Let's see what she can do here. Pino sends it in too much this time. And I don't mind this from Pino early on in this match, obviously coming off a big win last weekend, getting on the score sheet from a set piece opportunity. You know she can hit screamers from in and around the box, whether it's around the 18 yard box or, or 20, 20 yards out of the 18 yard box. But again, for players like Megan Rapino, can she keep building? Olympics are just on the horizon. Like you alluded to, had a few injuries last season and you're starting to see that fitness build up. You're starting to see her clean up her first touch and really be dangerous in that final third. Taken away by the Spirit. Kumi Yokoyama. Back to Rain. King. Cruz. And 
and for Lavelle, you're seeing her not entirely sure if she should play a little bit further back, further up. She knows exactly what she's doing, and this is why she's one of the world's best <laughs> players, is because she, she goes into the most dangerous spots, whether it's popping off the front, whether it's living in between that line. She's always in the right spot at the right time, and then the ability, once she gets the ball at her feet, she's so dangerous. Here she is, Rose Lavelle. Played back, Fishlock, plenty of space. Fishlock fires, too much. And who's the conductor of it? Rose Lavelle, and, and like we you just spoke upon, obviously <clears throat> rolling from that right-hand side, and you could see her here because she is so smart and her vision and awareness is so good off the ball. You can just see her rolling down the side. Four players around her, no one touched tight, no one getting stuck into a tackle. So f moving forward in this match, Washington need to get uh, one of those defensive midfielders in and around Rose Lavelle. You can already see the pressure from O.L. Rain. Here's a chance, Rose Lavelle. It's given away by Sam Stop. Another foul called against the Spirit. And what's exciting to see with this rain side, defensively, they've been way better than we've seen in the last few years. Defensively, extremely difficult to break down. And then really, really building up momentum, whether it's in that transition. And the scary part is, is the players that are coming from Europe in just a few months and how they are going to add to this side. Pino will strike again on this set piece. Time chips it forward, looking for Fishlock. Bledsoe picks it up off the bounce. Brilliant ball from Rapino, and again, this one is just from the training ground. Absolutely perfect pass into the box. No one could just get on the end of this one. Moving forward, four set pieces, especially in a match like this where Washington can catch you in that transition. Can O.L. Reign be very dangerous? Can you get those strong runs into the box, front post, back post, in and across defenders and in across the face of goal? O.L. Reign with more energy thus far, and it's easy to understand for O.L. Reign. Their last match was a week ago, and that was in Portland. Not too much travel for them. For Washington, it's been a little bit different. This will be their, this is their third match in 10 days. They had a midweek match on Wednesday, and that was supposed to be at home, but due to some issues regarding their stadium situation, in the DC metro area that had to be played in Houston. As here we see Jess Fishlock, now Megan Rapino. And I think if this league has taught us ever anything, we obviously just watched Portland uh, get a huge three points after coming off back-to-back -back losses. And again, the same kind of schedule, three games in 10 days and traveling to that East Coast. So anything can happen in the NWSL is what I'm trying to get to. That is absolutely true. Sent forward. Pino keeps it in play. Cuts back with it. Looking for Lavelle, it was a heavy touch and out of bounds. Richie Burke was telling us that this team, it, it was tough because of that trip to Houston that again, they weren't initially expecting. They got back from Houston, it was a Wednesday night match. They got back first thing Thursday morning. They had Thursday to be at home. And then first thing Friday, they had to fly out to Washington State to get ready for this match. So they have not had much rest. And he stressed the importance of keeping them healthy, both physically and also mentally. You don't want any players to get burnt out, especially Go, early in the season. Take her on! As we can hear Richie Burke from the sideline, here's a chance for the Spirit. McCune, the rookie, eighth overall pick. Now it's played back. Sam Staub, the fourth overall pick in 2019. Here's a chance, Ashley Hatch, forward Sanchez, what a save! 
This is brilliant from Sanchez. Most players would have taken a touch here, and she hits this on the first time half volley. It's that late third midfield run that I alluded to early on in this match that's going to be so important, especially to open up this side of OL Reign. They drop so many numbers back defensively. She knows the defender is going to ground, so Sanchez just pops this up and over with her laces. Absolutely clinical save early on in this game. It was an excellent save from Karen Bardsley. And a great hit from Ashley Sanchez, as you said. First timing it, and it was in the exact right spot in the air when she hit it. So a corner coming for the Spirit, taken by Julia Rotter. Sweden native, and caught by Bardsley. Allowed just one goal in their first two matches of the season. And that goal was from Christine Sinclair. Not much you can do to stop her. I'll be Brad Bledsoe. Set an NWSL record for single season saves in 2018 with 108 chance for the Spirit. Already back with O.L. Reign. Good passing between Cruz, Fishlock, Rapino. Spirit come away with it and some room to run. Houston. Natalie Jacobs. Into the box, the strike deflected and now cleared. Pino a little back heel. Rose Lavelle, look at her turn on the burners. Lavelle has help on the left, plays it to King. But the offside flag is up, the goal does not count. And this is just frustrating from King. She, she's playing on the outside shoulder of the defender. She can see the offside line. Just stay onside. Rose Lavelle has done all the dirty work in this. She's done all the hard work. Got past Tori Houston, and again, just puts this one with her left outside of her foot. So for King in this game, when you are playing with the likes of Rose Lavelle, Megan Rapino, all you have to do is take a look across that line. Stay onside. And this is an early goal for O.L. Reign. She had gotten behind... Tori Huster was just about staying in front of Emily Sonnet. She couldn't quite do it. It was a beautiful run from Rose Lavelle. Great pass. And the shot worked out, but it does not count. Sierra King offside. So no goal to be had. Throw coming for Noel Rain. move from Yokoyama. Barnes fighting and a foul called against Yokoyama. And this OL Reign side have been really impressed with them this season. And it's what they do in this midfield. And obviously with the addition of Rose Lavelle, it only extends that and has more depth in it. But it really looks like the old OL Reign when Little used to play in the middle. And just the ability to play that one-two touch football and that quick release. Can we find our front runners and switch that point of attack? Rose Lavelle again in the midfield. Goes to her right. Nice help with Puerta. Sent in looking for King. It's headed out. Lavelle thought she had someone on her back heel. Meanwhile, Ashley Sanchez looking to counterattack. Gets past Barnes. Plays to Ashley Hatch. Inside the box now. Takes a touch. And this is just smart defending from Lauren Barnes. And this is why she has 150 games for the rain because of moments like this. Most defenders would have taken a sloppy, silly foul to try to pull Sanchez down. She knew that they had numbers up. They had four behind the ball. They knew, and she had confidence in her defenders to get the job done. Back to Bardsley. Well, Rain looking to go unbeaten in their first three. Be the first time they accomplished that since 2014, the year they made the championship match. 
Washington fighting hard on the road, though. One player we have not mentioned yet for the Spirit is Trinity Rodman, who's had an excellent start to a rookie campaign. She is not starting tonight out of precaution, making sure that she stays healthy with her ankle. She is available, though. So we very well may see her. Yokoyama instead gets the start on that right flank. And just going to your point with Trinity Rahman, just that partnership, we touched on Hatch for our player to watch in this game. Two goals in three appearances. She's been brilliant. But it's that partnership that that front three of Washington have been so good and so dangerous. We've seen Sanchez play in that front three. But now is this false 10. I love her in this false 10 because she can still get forward with that late midfield run, but then also has the ability to connect the passes to this dangerous front line. Yes, yes, yes. Well done, from McNabb Stop sent that. forward. Hey. As there we see Trinity Rodman, and again, just an incredible start that she's had with a lot of pressure. Obviously, people know her dad, they know her name. Uh, they know her because she essentially came straight out of high school. She never played at Washington State where she committed to because the season was canceled due to COVID. She's the youngest player drafted ever drafted into the NWSL and instantly proved to be a spark for the Spirit, both in the Challenge Cup and in their first couple of matches. We'll see if she comes in as a sub today. I think what's exciting about Trinity Rodman, hopefully this is nothing, this is just a big, like, tough challenge. But going back to Trinity Rodman, what I love about her as well is when she first got on the scene, she was playing in a wide role. Then they rolled her inside to play the number nine role. She had the ability to pop off the front, be a big body target, really good playing with her back towards the net. And then they moved her out wide again. And the ability for her to get down the flank on that 1v1 here, we're just taking a look at this challenge. Roosevelt just comes through, just gets her with her cleats again. Those are one of those that are going to sting for a moment. But what Trinity Rodman is adding to this Washington side is depth, is power, is precision, and a technical ability at such a young age. And like you alluded to, just coming straight out of high school is scary moving forward. Here is Houston. All the experience in the world has played well over 12,000 minutes. Nice grab from Bardsley. You've got Houston and O'Hara as your fullbacks. You can't ask for a much better combo. They've got tons of experience. Houston's 31, O'Hara's 32. Been playing in this league for years, and they know how to get it done. Here's Amber Brooks. Out of bounds again. As we approach the 24th minute here at Cheney Stadium, there's yeah. Richie Burke. With my partner, Kaylin Kyle, I'm Corey Cohen. Thrilled to be joining you on Paramount Plus. Madison Hammond has played the full 90 minutes in both games so far and made history as the first Native American NWSL player. to take. Been with the rain years ago, then went to Houston. Rejoined the squad last year. The Reed Benz TT told us earlier this weekend that she had a strong week of practice and really earned her place in the starting 11. Here's Rapino. Lavelle. Still dribbling back to Rapino. Come away with it. Let's so boots it. Tough pressure from Ashley Sanchez. 
Spirit as a whole, not allowing the rain to get past midfield. Washington gets there first, as they usher it out of bounds, and a goal kick on the way. Richie Burke, one of the most outgoing head coaches in this league. Been with the Spirits since 2019. I feel like Rory Dames and Paul Riley could give him a run for his money. I think there's some obviously big coaches in this league and it's great to see just the quality of coaches coming in and really restyling on how these teams play. I mean, both of these teams, especially Washington, I mean, they've been so fun to watch, not only in transition, but the buildup through that back line, using their midfield platforms, and then using their strength in that front three. And for O.L. Reign, the same thing. I mean, they've completely changed how they've played, not that so much of a transitional side, but being able to use that midfield that we saw early on that the O.L. Reign had when they were just the rain. Forward Bledsoe able to handle it. not giving her much space. Now she'll pick it up. Bledsoe originally from Cincinnati, to school at Wake Forest. Here's Houston, also from Cincinnati. Also went to an ACC school, she went to Florida State. Rain just has to get it out of bounds. And it will be a throw for Washington. Yama made her NWSL debut versus Louisville. Getting her second start. Nice work by the rain. Rapino comes away with it. Bell pressing. Back to Bledsoe, though. There's Jess Fishlock and a foul called against the Spirit. Fishlock, again, remarkable experience, 34 years old, native of Cardiff, Wales, and has been dominating both for club and for country for years. Which is frustrating is why she's been left off GB for yet another time. I mean, I was lucky enough to play with someone like her and she's just such a quality player, shows up in big games, shows up on the training pitch and shows up in the NWSL. So it's a bit of a head scratcher. Just a little off target looking for Lavelle. And yeah, I, I can't pretend to know much about the politics and the chemistry of, of choosing an Olympic squad, obviously things are a little bit different when it comes to uh, FIFA organized uh, competitions where Wales, you know, each country is separate and Wales and England are separate, of course. In this case, in the Olympics, it is Great Britain. So England, Wales and Scotland all together. Fishlock eligible, but left off. It's been named to the NWSL best 11 four times. Shown no signs of slowing down. Throw coming for the Spirit. Lovely evening for soccer here in Tacoma, about 71 degrees. Throw coming from Staub. Sent away by Rapino. Now Lavelle and a chance for a counterattack. Huerta. Fishlock putting on the burners. Running down the middle. Lavelle also in the box. Way too much behind that though, and we will see a goal kick. 
can see the defensive work that OL Reign are putting in. I mean, again, they're extremely difficult to break down. Two goals already on the season, only one goal against is because of the work rate, which then leads to these transitions. And Huerta here just putting a little bit too much on it. So for OL Reign moving forward in this match, they're getting into great positioning. They're they're finding the likes of Rose LaBelle, Lavelle, Megan Rapino, Kling or King popping off that front. So now can they just be a little bit more patient when it comes to service in and around the box? Kelly O'Hara, Julia Rotter, Rose Lavelle takes it away. Nice interception. Back and forth in the midfield, back with Lavelle. Wisely plays it to her defense. It's Kristen McNabb, New Jersey native. Now Shirley Cruz from Costa Rica. McNabb just had to get it away. Ashley Sanchez was pressing. So here is Huerta. Fishlock switches fields, finds Lauren Barnes. Rapino goes to her left. Nice defense from Tori Huster. And out of bounds, so we'll see a throw for O.L. Reign. And you can hear Richie Birch on the sideline saying, show for the ball. We need players popping up the front in order for them to have an outlet, especially when this field is so compact and it's difficult to break down the rain. Again, remember, there's Richie Burke. Remember, this is a smaller field in terms of dimensions than the standard NWSL size. Here at Cheney Stadium, usually a, was built at least to be a baseball stadium. So it is a bit thinner than at least the spirit players are used to. Here's a chance, Cruz, Huerta, Back to Hammond, and now all the way back. Some room for the rain, see what they can do with it. Rose Lavelle, crosses, looking for King. It's headed up, still in the box. Another chance, Lavelle, still dribbling. Another cross, this time headed out of the box. Houston, Yokoyama, excellent pressure from O.L. Reign. And throw coming this up. is that tempo change that I love in the OL rain. Obviously, they can build up through the back, find that midfield platform. But again, this all comes from Amber Brooks in that back line, hitting that quick switch of play, finding players like Rose Lavelle, that first cross. And then again, regaining possession, getting numbers in and around the box, pressing high up the pitch. And Rose Lavelle, again, another quality ball into that box. So it is a throw for O.L. Reign. Here's Megan Rapino. Sends it in. A shot on target, but saved by Bledsoe. It was Huerta who got a touch on it, but just didn't have a good look at goal. Foul called against Fishlock. So it will be Spirit Ball. As we approach the 35th minute, still scoreless between O.L. Reign and the Washington Spirit. Emily Sonnet. Over 50 caps with the U.S. Women's National Team was recently called up for their next camp. Has played every minute so far 
this season for the Washington Spirit. Just one of two players who has done that. Huster gets through, slipped to pass Cruz. Sanchez, nice pressure from Fishlock, now Cruz. And the Rain have it right back. Given to Yokoyama. Yokoyama down for a moment after that slide tackle from Rose Lavelle. The ref said it was clean, but Yokoyama is hurt. Kumi Yokoyama able to get up now as we'll take another look at it. And this is what Rose Lavelle can do on either side of the ball. Obviously, you see her in that attacking third, wins the ball here. Yes, does take player out, but gets ball first. But the ability to be dangerous both defensively and offensively, that's what makes her such a threat. Zierra King just flicks it forward. Foot race, but the Spirit get there first. It was Emily Sonic. King had won that race. Very well may have been a goal. Zierra King from South Jersey, just outside of Philly. It was the eighth overall pick last year in the NWSL draft for Utah. This is her first year with Rain. Pino takes the shot, parried by Bledsoe. We will see a corner for O.L. Reign. And I love this from Megan Rapino. Absolutely brilliant from her. It's Jess Fishlock that dribbles this one cross pitch. And this is what sucks defenders out again. Slips this one to Megan Rapino. And Megan Rapino says, you know what? I'm going to do this myself. Gets his back onto her right foot. And just the power and the ability to get that whip around it. You can see it from this angle. Pushes it out with the right side of her foot. And then again, that bending ball catches Bledsoe a little bit. By surprise, I think she thought Megan Rapino might be just whipping that one into the box, but Megan Rapino goes for net and almost 1 0 early on for OL Reign. Rapino takes the corner. It's a little short. Here's a strike off target from Amber Brooks. We see Natalie Jacobs getting the start for Andy Sullivan. Thirty eighth minute here from Tacoma. Again with former Canadian national teamer Kaylin Kyle. I'm Corey Cohen joining you on CBS Sports. Throw on the far side from the rain. Fishlock. Huerta. Edge the box. Huerta sends it. Too much intended for Rapino. Huerta has really impressed me this first 37 minutes of this match. She's really been all over the place. And then the ability for her to live on the ball, whether it's putting quality balls into the box, whether it's that link up play. I love her partnership really starting to build with that midfield of Shirley Cruz, Jess Fishlock, and obviously with the addition of Rose Lavelle, it's only going to get stronger. coming from the rain. Deflected off Yokoyama. Here is Lauren Barnes. Again, the most minutes in the NWSL ever. She has been incredibly dependable for the rain in her career. She's still just 31, but for one more day tomorrow marks Lauren Barnes' 32nd birthday. So happy, slightly early birthday to her. About six minutes remaining in the opening half. Both teams still looking for a goal. Rapino, Lavelle, back to Megan Rapino. 
through ball, little too much. King and Huerta were headed forward, but it went right to Bledsoe. And I like this idea from Rapino. Obviously, Washington caught a little bit out that quick transition. I like that Rapino is trying to get early balls into the box because we've seen time and time again in this first 45 minutes a lot of build up play and, and losing that momentum and being clinical in that final third. Foul called against the Spirit. Barnes will take it. Wearing the captain's armband for this squad, full of leaders. Vell couldn't keep it in play, and it will be Spirit Ball. Houston to take. Just three days since their last match against Houston on Wednesday. Pino switches fields. Rose Lavelle. King in an offside position has to come back. Lavelle goes to Rapino. Little heavy on that cross. Hammond chasing it. It's kept in play. No, now the flag is up and it will be spirit ball. And for Washington, can they get to half just nil-nil? Rain have been relentless in their pressure, pressing all over the pitch, not giving them time and space. Washington maybe having one okay opportunity, and it's because of how high the OL Rain are pressing up the pitch. It's that midfield combativeness when they do get beat, how quick they drop numbers back. They don't, they're don't. they not allowing Washington to play through. They're not allowing Washington to play around. We've seen moments of Sanchez come alive from that late third midfield run. So for Washington going into the next 45 minutes, can they play a little bit quicker and can they get catch OL Rain in transition? Well, Rain had a huge and a fast start against Portland in their previous match in that rivalry game. Scored in the ninth minute and then again in the 15th minute. Thought maybe they'd score early here as well. But so far, neither team has. Tracking all the way back and played to Bardsley. Throw coming for the Spirit. Houston will take. McNabb. He's been in Washington State since 2017. Now Barnes. Just a couple of minutes remaining in this first half. And a throw coming for Washington yet again. Oh well, Rain has more possession so far. See if Washington can sustain something. Lavelle. And it'll be a throw for the Spirit. Looks like Samantha Martinez overruled the assistant referee. She was closer than he was. Fishlock now Barnes. Nice cut to the right from Barnes. Taking your time. Rapino. 
nowhere to go. White shirts everywhere. And that is a foul called against Megan Rapinoe. And it's that relentlessness that I was just talking about. I mean, even if they are picking up fouls, just getting that first line of press. Can we use our three players in Rapino, King, and Huerta? Can they press high up the pinch? Can they really set the tempo? And they're looking for cues as well. Washington maybe hitting a slow pass, maybe a back pass to Bledsoe, or maybe that center back, full back pass. They're starting to collapse, and they're really starting to lead this line and lead the defense of O.L. Reign. That relentlessness is one of the great qualities that Rapino has on the pitch that led her to superstardom. Looks like no stoppage time, so this will be the end of the first half. Ankle, they wanted to monitor that, so Yokoyama comes out, and Trinity Rodman into the match. And we were mentioning in the first half, as the second half is now underway, how incredible Trinity Rodman has been early in her career. In fact, of the last five Washington Spirit goals, Trinity Rodman has been directly involved in three of those last five. And it's because she can play anywhere in that front three. Here's a chance, Rodman tries to cross. And just going back to my point with Trinity Rodman, she can play really anywhere on the pitch. She's so good with her back towards the net. She's got the ability to go at two, three players and the confidence. And then she's very clinical in front of the net and is not afraid to put the ball into the back of the goal. Rodman has had a lot of attention for a while. Partly due to her name and to Dennis Rodman and his achievements in sports, but also because she has been a great soccer player for years and then made a lot of news when she declared for the draft after not playing a single game in college. She committed to Washington State, but then due to COVID, they didn't have a season. Here's a chance, Cruz. A strike deflected. And then Rodman became the youngest player ever drafted into the NWSL. Just wide. There's a corner is on the way, we'll take another look at it. And Megan Rapinoe's service is so good because it's so hard to read. It's got this little dip in it, and she also puts a little bit of a spin on it. So a goalkeeper, if they mistime this, this could go into the back of the net. And that's also low, hard, and driven, where all you need is a redirection and potentially a goal-scoring opportunity. She's just so good from set pieces, corners. Here's the corner from Rapino. Back now, Krista McNabb. Played to Huerta. One by the Spirit. We'll go back to the rain. Another chance. Here's a strike, and it's caught by Aubrey Bledsoe. 48th minute here as the second half is underway. With the pro Kalen Kyle, I'm Corey Cohen. Glad you're joining us for this final match of the NWSL weekend. King chasing after it. Bledsoe comes out and has a position. Thrilled to be joining you live on Paramount Plus. as well as iHeartRadio. Official listening partner of the NWSL. Here's Jess Fishlock. 
Nice find to Rapino. Takes a strike from a mile out, and it was wide. And this is that dipping ball I was talking about, Megan Rapino. I mean, her service from the flank, her shots in and around the box, it's so difficult to read. Yes, this one isn't on target, but if it is on target, that ball drops just before the goalkeeper again. This partnership with Jess Fishlock, Rose Lavelle, and Megan Rapino, the ability for them to interchange in the middle of the park makes them so dangerous moving forward. Fishlock, now Rapino. Here's a chance for a counterattack. Ashley Sanchez. Help on both sides. Rodman got a touch. It's cleared. But a throw coming. Cruz finds Fishlock. The Spirit take it away. A little contact there between teammates and friendly fire between O'Hara and McCune. Nice grab there from Karen Bardsley. Again, recently called up to Team Great Britain leading up to the Olympics. Rodder. Huster, the right back. Fishlock. Brooks and McNabb in the back for O.L. Rain. coming for the Spirit. O'Hara takes. Some good pressure from O.L. Rain. Fishlock comes away with it. Rapino. Takes a knock and now the Spirit looking to counterattack. Sanchez. Through ball. Hatch. Just high. Looking for Trinity Rodman. Sanchez keeps it alive. The cross, Rodman gets a touch. Headed and now a corner coming for the Spirit. Fantastic build up play from Washington. That quick transition and I love this from Sanchez sitting in the biggest spot in that midfield. This is why I love her playing this number 10 role rather than playing out wide is because what she can do, the ability to drive forward, get that on the half turn and then find players like Trinity Rodman and Hatch leading this front line. So a corner on the way here in the 52nd minute. It'll be taken by the Swede, Julia Rotter. Previously played in Sweden. Came over this year. It's high on the far post! And it's a goal for the Spirit! Bardsley was nowhere to be found. And this is why the NWSL is one of the best leagues in the world, is because of moments like this. You have Olal Reign that had been dominating for 50 minutes, that first 45 minutes pressing all over the pitch. And then Richie Burke makes one tactical adjustment, brings on Rodman. This comes from a set piece. Barsley misreads this. She comes out, she tries to tip this one away, doesn't get her hand on it again, and leaves this back post open for an absolutely clinical finish from the head. Goalkeeper mistake, and it's 1-0 for Washington. The goal credited to Sam Staub, the center back. In the 51st minute, so crowded on that far post. And, and it actually looks like it was an own goal off of Megan Rapino. Again, it was so crowded. Here's Huster. And you can see this goal has added some life into Washington. And it's not that they were playing bad in that first 45 minutes. They just weren't 
having that energy that we saw and now Sanchez really coming alive and it comes with Trinity Rodman coming on the pitch. She just naturally stretches team parts, drawing this back line of OL Reign back and opening up that gap in the midfield for Sanchez to live in. So the own goal and that chaos on the far post and Bardsley was not there to stop it. Here's a chance for OL Reign, trailing 1-0. Lavelle took a strike, but it was right to Aubrey Bledsoe. There's Fareed Benztiti, Rose Lavelle, who he is thrilled to have. Richie Burke on the other end has made it known that he'd still love to have her in Washington. It was not his decision to trade her away. Offside flag is up on Lavelle. They had a great relationship, but also he knows exactly how valuable she is. Again, calling her the best female footballer on the planet, in his opinion. And she's a great player, so can she step up in this match? We saw that first 10, 15, 20 minutes of the game really getting on the ball, kind of fizzled out a little bit because Washington made a tactical adjustment, put two, three players around her. So for someone like Rose Lavelle, if she wants to be the best player in the world, these are the games she needs to show up. And, I, and I'm not taking anything away from how she's been playing, but really live on the ball, get on the ball, and really drive this OL reign forward. Spirit get there first. Kelly O'Hara. Headed up, edge of the box. Cleared for a moment. Nice work by Rapino. Lavelle looking to counterattack, some contact. Lavelle still going, has King, now some space, Huerta. Inside the box, the shot, it's a chip, and it's caught by Bledsoe. And who leads this attack? Rose Lavelle. And this is what the point I was making. Big players step up in big moments. She could feel that momentum shift. And what did she do? She went and she found the ball, dropped deep into that midfield, and then drove past two, three players, sucked players in, sucked defenders in, whipped that ball out wide. And again, it's just a mishit ball from Huerta in that final third. Houston holding on to it. Fishlock plays it off her chest. Rapino. Give and go with Lavelle. Pino sends it in. Headed out, but wide open. Jess Fishlock, the strike deflected. And this is where Washington need to be careful is this midfield space. They're playing with two defensive midfielders. So when you have a drop down top of the box, someone needs to get out, whether it's a center back stepping, closest player to the ball. They get lucky here, obviously caught offside. But again, leaving a player like Jess Fishlock unmarked top of the 18 yard box is risky. Played all the way back. Here's a chance though, coming out. Over the crossbar, my goodness. Bardsley coming all the way out. And this is sloppy defending from OL Reign. We've just seen it on a set piece opportunity, obviously missed from the goalkeeper. And then again, that momentum shift, bringing players like Trinity Rodman and, and Amber Brooks just doesn't get enough pace to play this back to Barnsley. Leaves her leaves are having to go to ground and make a tackle as a goalkeeper because it's a terrible back pass but it's the pressure from trinity rodman it's the pressure from sanchez for hatch getting numbers for getting numbers in and around and again a perfect opportunity for washington to go up two nil in this game dorian bailey comes in for the spirit she burke mentioned she might sub in was the eighth overall pick in 2019 out of North Carolina. Spirit still pressing forward with that 1-0 lead. Rapino comes back to get it. And it will be a throw for O.L. Reign. Fishlock, Lavelle, heavy touch. She 
keeps possession. Nice work to cut it back. Well, King dispossessed. King fighting for it back. Uh, the contact. King called for the foul. She's upset about it. So take it from inside the box. As we enter the 60th minute. Another pressing move. Hartsley yet again under pressure, this time finds Hammond. Huerta back to Hammond. Now looking for Rapino. Could not be kept in play. And you can feel the momentum switch in favor of Washington. They're starting to press a little bit higher up the pitch. They're starting to win that first and second phase. And they're starting to make O.L. Reign hit sloppy passes that we didn't see in that first 45 minutes. They were connecting through the midfield, pressing high up the pitch, getting two, three, Four time, four sometimes players in and around the ball. So can they have a leader on this team, whether it's Jess Fishlock, whether it's Megan Rapino, Rose Lavelle, grab a hold of this game, start to live on the ball, and really add confidence back into this side. Spirit will take the throw, bring numbers forward a bit. Here in a beautiful evening at Cheney Stadium in Tacoma. 71 degrees. It's Kaylin Kyle. I'm Corey Cohen. It's the final match of the weekend in the NWSL. It has been an exciting weekend. We'll see if this brings an exciting close. Washington Spirit with a 1 0 lead off an own goal. He touched off of Megan Rapino. Here's Fishlock. Huerta. Dribbles to her right, makes the defender fall. Huerta, and a corner on the way. And these are one of those moments I was talking about. Huerta living on the ball, taking this player on 1v1, getting past this defender, undressing her. And then again, just putting this, trying to get this ball into the box, goes out for a deflection, but a set-piece opportunity with the likes of Megan Rapino serving this one in. This is what the rain needed. They needed a player like this just to add some momentum moving forward. Not Kelly O'Hara's proudest moment there. Slipping on the turf. Rapino, last touch. Off of the spirit, so it will be another corner for the rain. Rapino takes again. Outside of the box now, a chance to counterattack for the spirit. Here's Rodman. Couldn't make a through ball. A whole lot of contact. No whistle. Well, Rain get it back, but out of bounds, and it'll be a throw for the spirit. Rodman, who just turned 19, coming in as the second overall pick in this year's NWSL draft. Hatch fighting for it, still dribbling. Hatch continues. Now it's Lauren Barnes. King, Lavelle lost it for a moment. Moves back to Lavelle. Miscommunication there for the rain, so the spirit will take over. A couple of substitutions coming up here for the rain. Danny Weatherholt will enter the match, as will Leah Pruitt. And so Rose Lavelle and her return to the NWSL will exit this match in the 64th minute.
She had a lot of energy, did a whole lot for O.L. Reign. Just could not help them find a goal. Sierra King will also exit in favor of Leah Pruitt. So like for like substitutions, Weatherholt in the midfield, Pruitt at the forward position. Pruitt had started both games before today. Weatherholt actually had played the full 90 in the two previous games. So we'll see what they can do as subs. Looking to inject some energy into O.L. Rain, find an equalizer. Now in the 65th minute, here's Jess Fishlock. That's a great ball out of the back. I believe it was Chris and McNam gets her head up and bypasses both the front line and the midfield unit of Washington of Washington Spirit and finds Jess Fishlock on a half turn. And all Washington can do is foul her again. This is a dangerous opportunity for someone like Megan Rapino. Substitution on the way for the Spirit. to take the set piece. Long way out, chips it forward. The extra touch. The spirit player is calling for a rain hand ball. Either way, it doesn't result in a goal. And I love hearing Richie Burke from the sideline. He's He's positive when he needs to be, and then he adds some life into this team as well. That first 45 minutes, O.L. Reign was all over Washington. Now, the stats say differently. Obviously, Washington had a few more shots on target, but O.L. Reign pressing, getting numbers in and around the ball, but really has changed the tide of this second half, bringing someone like Trinity Rodman on. And then when you have a manager on the sideline, instilling confidence into players, instilling uh, tactical changes, and you can hear him for the better. You love to see it from a manager pitch side. Kelly O'Hara and Megan Rapino, teammates on the U.S. national team. Set piece coming up for the Spirit. O'Hara headed wide, and it will be a goal kick. As we see, Anna Helferty made her NWSL, de NWSL debut in April. 22 year old out of. Boston University. And she will enter for Ashley Hatch. Hatch with two goals so far in the year. We talked about her pregame. Was not able to find the back of the net in this one. But so far, it would still be enough for the Spirit as they lead 1-0. And you can see Richie Burke obviously bringing her off and just having that conversation of what he could see maybe her do better in that next batch. This is what you want from a manager. You want someone that was going to make you better and, and really pushes you to be the best. Shirley Cruz, nice chance here for the rain. Some forward from Weather Holt. It'll be a throw coming up. Barnes, now Fishlock with some room, Fishlock, and a goal kick on the way for Washington. Sixty-ninth minute here from Tacoma, Washington. Again, this is Washington State versus Washington D.C. Get on up. 
Couple headers back and forth. Sanchez tries to settle it. Rodman comes back for it. And Sanchez in some pain, and they'll stop play to check on him. Might have been a head knock, so they will call the training staff to come out. And hopefully this is nothing serious. You saw her in the Challenge Cup struggle a little bit on the pitch, and she was the first person to put her hand up and go to the head coach and say, I wasn't good enough. I apologize. That says a lot about not only a player, but the person and who she wants to become and what she wants to make this Washington Spirit side. Yeah. Then we got her to the regular season, and she's completely come alive, playing that number 10 role, just seeing a replay here of how she's just picked up this injury it looks like a knee, a little bit of a twist. I don't see any head on head. I, hopefully it's not any head on head. Maybe just got the wind knocked out of her. Just a, a big collision. Hopefully nothing wrong with her. Because she is really what makes this Washington spirit side tick through that midfield and really getting those front runners involved. She will walk off the pitch, at least for the moment. They'll make sure she's all right before sending her back in. Meanwhile, O.L. Rain, perhaps looking to make another substitution. Your hurt player is stepping up. Sanchez with a great goal over Jane Campbell in their last one. Her first goal of the year. Just sailed over the arm of Campbell. So in the restart, we'll be sent back to O.L. Reign. 71st minute now. Madison Hammond. Touch pass, nicely done from Cruz, back to Hammond. Weatherholt comes up, now Huerta. Back to Danny Weatherholt. Huerta looking into the box, nobody there. Rapino now for O.L. Reign. Rapino still dribbling, finds Fishlock. Some contact at the edge of the box, no whistle. That was just inside the box. Samantha Martinez decided to swallow her whistle. Trinity Rodman. Ashley Sanchez, here's a shot off the crossbar. And off the underside of the crossbar, somehow didn't get past the goal line. Another chance for the Spirit. He just will not let up. Kelly O'Hara. This ball sent sky high collected by Bards. And Washington Spirit has really grown into this match. I mean, you look at this build-up play. Sanchez, this is what I talked about in our pregame show, her driving through. And then what Trinity Rodman can do in this game. A lot of players try, would probably try to put this ball across the box, get it into the mix. She gets her head back, slots this one top of the box, going off the woodwork again. Washington really putting their foot on the gas pedal in the second 45. Dorian Bailey with the strike. Couldn't quite score. Throw coming from the Spirit. They've got a 1-0 lead. Now in the 74th minute. Three points on the road would be huge for Washington. Now Samantha Martinez will stop play for a moment. She wanted to give Tori Huster a warning about not taking too many steps.
foul called. That'll be against the Spirit. Well, rain. See if they can build up from the back. Trailing by a goal. Nice defense from Houston with the interception. Contact called against the rain. So Angelina will come in for Shirley Cruz. And then Bethany Balser will enter for Megan Rapino. Rapino will not play the full 90. Certainly frustrated to not be able to find a goal, either herself or setting one up. Now she'll just have to hope that her teammates get it done. Bethany Balser enters for Rapino, the 2019 NWSL Rookie of the Year. Also holds the honor of scoring the first rain goal ever in Tacoma. Here's Fishlock. Angelina, Brazilian international, takes a shot, it's low, and saved. And for Angelina, just coming onto the pitch, trying to add some spark. So I understand why she wants to take that shot. But you have four front runners in front of you that are in a better goal scoring position and opportunity. So build the ball up. Don't try to force things in and around the box. You're not going to beat a goalkeeper of her stature in a match like this when you're one nil up in a, in, a, in a game. So again, coming into the game, can you add some life? Can you add the ability to live on the ball, get others more involved, push the ball forward and get that width, get those balls into the box? Offside flag up. Spirit holding on to this one nil lead. Madison Hammond finding Fishlock. Goes wide. Now crossed in, looking for Huerta, it's just short. Fishlock, heavy touch, goes for the slide. Weatherholt, easily cleared. And this time a foul called against the rain. Let's take a quick replay of this. Obviously going in big for a tackle. Catches the player, but does win the ball first. So again, the ref really trying to control this match. Obviously we've seen some big heavy tackles, but for me, won the ball there first. All rain, get it back. Ball, sir, gives it away though. It's Kelly O'Hara. Muscled off. Some good passing. That time Leah Pruitt switches fields, finds Fishlock. Fishlock still dribbling, through ball for Pruitt. And the strike is right to Bledsoe. And Pruitt's come on and really made an impact, seeing her down this right-hand side, that first touch to get that quick switch of play because Washington is dropping so deep, so quick, and really getting their numbers back. This build-up play, it's just at the pace that they've been doing it with. And then again, not forcing things 
that aren't in dangerous places. So Jess Fishlock driving at defenders, slotting this one in over for Pruitt. And Pruitt, great defending, by the way, getting goal side of her player and putting her in a really tough position. But Pruitt coming on and making an immediate impact. It's a fight for it. Flag up. And it will be OL Rain ball. Nice hustle from Christian McNabb. Here's Amber Brooks. A long ball. Pruitt chasing after it. Can't quite get there. So we'll take all the time she needs as this game now enters the 80th minute, approaching the 81st. And since the Spirit have a 1 0 lead, nobody with Washington in any sort of a hurry. All the way back. McNabb now Barnes. Here's a chance for Houston. Dribbling in is Rodman. Nice cut back. Still going. Weatherholt. With the last touch, a corner on the way. Rodman's really one of those game-changing pl players, whether you start her, whether you bring her off the bench. Obviously, love seeing her in that initial starting 11, but you can already see what she's added into the second 45 minutes. I mean, the build-up goal that uh, led to the first goal of Washington, and then here, driving at this back line, taking two, three, four players on. Yes, it doesn't come off, but it just starts to naturally open up the game and then getting a set-piece opportunity from it. Corner, a couple of heads, still a chance for the Spirit. Kelly O'Hara sends it in. A couple of Spirit players upset and overruled. Samantha Martinez overruled the assistant referee, says... She saw who touched it last. It will be spirit possession. So it will be a throw in near the corner. And O'Hara, just a brilliant ball into the box. Again, Lou Barnes getting up and over and just heading this one out of danger. Here's a chance. Header. What a magnificent save from Bardsley. Sanchez came flying forward. Bardsley, though, makes the grab. It's a good save. The ball is directly at her all, and this is not good. This is a, a definitely a hamstring. She is still down as Fishlock dribbles forward. Bardsley still down in the box, but Oil Rain does not Keep want to give up this up. chance, especially up. when they need a goal. They continue up. to play. The second they lose the ball, I'm sure play will stop. This sent forward, a strike. Bledsoe picks it up. And with Bardsley still down, holding that hamstring. We and you can see, see you can see her legs already taped with that K tape. So obviously maybe a, a muscular injury. I don't want to say too much because I, I genuinely don't know. But she's grabbing this as a player. If she's in excruciating pain, as if this is pulled. Uh, and again, she is not the type of player to go down easily. So hopefully for someone like her, this isn't anything serious. Hopefully it's just a little bit of a tweak. But you can see the pain in her eyes. You can see it in her face. And these are one of those that. 
they they crush you because obviously just getting announced that she had been selected for GB uh, Olympics just around the corner international fixtures coming up so again hopefully this is nothing serious for her hopefully it's just a little bit of a knock and she'll be good to go for GB Meanwhile, we should mention there is not a backup keeper available on the bench for OL Reign. So that complicates things. We'll take a look at some replays while they hopefully get... And I love this from O'Hara. Instead of putting this one on target, and this is why she's so clever, she puts this one back across the box, keeps it in the mix, and it's Sanchez coming from that late midfield run. And then OL Reign, obviously goalkeeper down, but like you alluded to, didn't want to give up a goal-scoring opportunity, being 1-0 down. Brilliant chance for substitutes coming off the bench, but again, that header directly at the goalkeeper. So they help Bardsley up, and again, this is remarkably difficult because there is not a backup keeper. Normally, obviously, this is, this is awful, and you help Bardsley off, and you hope that she gets better soon, and you put in your backup keeper. Farid Benstiti did not put a keeper on the bench. He's got two on the roster, and Ella Diedrich and Cosette Morche. Hey, Neither one is eligible. Yeah, Neither one. one. Excuse me, they said 33 is coming in. So pardon, she was, she is listed as an available substitute. Apologies for that. And so Bardsley will have to come off. And Ella Diederich, the 24-year-old from Washington State, will enter. Just horrible to see from Bardsley. It's horrible to see any player go down, but it's especially heartbreaking when you see players that have already been selected for an Olympic team because they've already waited a year for the Olympics. It was supposed to happen last year, obviously due to COVID. So they've had to get their minds around revamping and refocusing on yet another year of training for an Olympic Games, which is extremely difficult to do because of the four year cycle. Usually you take the year off after uh, the Olympic tournament and then you have those three years, you have a World Cup in there as well, and then you refocus. So again, for players that are going to the Olympics, it's a huge mind shift because the Olympics are push back another year. So here's a chance for the Washington Spirit to go up against an inexperienced keeper. The good part is, is she's she's been training alongside Bardsley, so she's learning from the best. She's growing within training sessions, so this could be a great opportunity for someone to get minutes and get those 90, not a 90 minute performance, but get 10, 15 minutes under her belt in order just to add confidence. Again, she's learning from some of the best goalkeepers. She's got a great back line playing in front of her. So can she keep a clean sheet for her in this match and really add to this side for OL Reign and her own confidence? Signed back in March, this organization is another player down this time for the Spirit. Had a great career at Washington State. First all time in minutes, games played and wins. Second all time in shutouts and saves for the Cougars, and as you mentioned, training under next to Bardsley. Here's the foul. Hey. Good. Hey. Come on, come on, come on. So a set piece coming for the Spirit. They approach the 89th minute. Spirit looking to put this one away. Rain looking to get another chance or two at goal. See if they can come away with a point. That is caught. And a nice reception here at home for the rookie who nobody expected to get minutes in this game. And 
I'm sure least of all her. But being able to get a lot of support from this home crowd, I'm sure means a lot. Set piece coming up again for the Spirit. And they let it go, so a goal kick on the way for the rain. Bardsley, obviously devastated by that injury. I hope it's nothing incredibly serious. Final minute of regular time, and, and then it'll be about six minutes of stoppage time. We'll see if the rain can find an equalizer. And it's plenty of time for OL Rain. They have the firepower up top. We've already seen with Pruitt leading this line just how dangerous she's been. Jess Fischluck always steps up in big moments. And then bringing someone like Danny Weatherholton, she can really solidify that midfield, add that energy, and really be that workhorse in there, that true number, number eight that can reach that distance and in those dying minutes, maybe potentially get that late third midfield run into the box. So there it is, six minutes of stoppage time. Rain desperate for a goal. Washington looking to hold on to possession. Balser finds Weatherholt. Now Hammonds. Will be a throw for the rain. Weatherholt will take. Weatherholt. Assisted a goal from Cruz this year. Back to Amber Brooks. Taken away by the spirit. Kept in play. Right back to the rain and now back to the spirit. Side flag stays down, and you hear Richie Burke yelling, corner, just run to the corner, and it pays off. And it's a good heads up play, I mean a 2v1, and instead of just trying to hold on to it, knocks it off in a, a OL rain defender in order to even kill more time off the clock. And you know at this point of the match, you're not playing for goal differential, you don't need a second goal playing largely against the clock. And we will likely see this just played to Sanchez right here, and we do. Some more time killed in the corner. This time, though, off of Washington, it'll be a goal kick for O.L. Reign. Just over four minutes remaining. Fishlock loses the ball in the midfield. And another chance for Washington to kill some clock. This time it's the rookie, Trinity Rodman. Sends it into the box. Gives it to the rain. Lauren Barnes, through ball. Looking for Leah Pruitt, sprinting. Houston gets there first. Rain get it back though. Still a few minutes remaining. Hammond. And a poor hit from Bethany Balser, so it will go the other way. And again, Bledsoe in absolutely no rush to take this goal kick. Yeah. 
through a ball. Fishlock. Is that a foul? No. But it will be a throw for the rain. Well, rain without two of the go top goal scorers in the world. Just a little high for Leah Pruitt. Megan Rapino and Rose Lavelle both subbed off in the second half. The rest of the squad needs to find an equalizer. Another throw coming. Barnes throws to Pruitt. Trinity Rodman takes it over. Just sends it forward. And the Rain have to play it all the way back. To Diederich. Just about a minute and a half remaining. The Rain have not been able to get a good look at goal. Here's Angelina. Just giving away to the spirit yet again. Nice work by Sanchez. Showing urgency for the spirit. Foul call. And that's against the rain. Fans at Cheney Field initially thought that, that would be Cheney Stadium, excuse me, initially thought that was a foul called against the spirit. Instead, it's against their side. And this might kill the last chance that OL Rain could have gotten. Now in the corner, a throw coming for the Spirit, and again, more time that they can waste. The Spirit holding on, looking for a 1-0 victory. This time a throw for OL Reign, so will they allow them one more opportunity? to get down the pitch, past the six minute mark. Washington gets it right back though. Rodman heads to the corner, tries to hold it there. A throw for the Spirit and when will they call it? Richie Burke and company just holding on, waiting for that final whistle. And there